Now, Fred, I want you to see this. You see that, Fred? That is the entrance to this beehive. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Finish closing off this <laughs> entrance here. Well, uh -oh. this not even connected. Uh -uh. <laughs> that, that, that whole nozzle just came loose. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, now there's another entrance to it. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, let's. I'm a, let me put on my suit, Charles. <laughs> well, I'm not getting in there. Yeah, they are, they're already getting on. Huh? They're getting mad. Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is December 7th, 2022. We're in Franklinton, Louisiana. And we got a call from Tommy saying, Look, Jeff, I found us some bees. They're in a gas tank. And so today we're up here to remove them. Now, I tried to block off the entrance because I thought that would be the only entrance but after I did it look look at this oh. I think I think this entrance is is kind of like um, well not very <laughs> good anymore so the bees are in the gas tank Charlie come on around here and here's the gas tank now it's pretty long it's it it from this point all the way to, to this point. It's pretty far up in there. Uh, and we're going to see what we can do about just, in fact, let me grab the camera. I'm going to show you what I'm thinking about what I got to do. Now, here's what I'm looking at underneath the truck. And there are two straps that hold this tank in place. That one right there 
and the one down there. And hopefully if I undo that, since I've taken that nozzle out of there, the tank will drop. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to cut that, the, the bolts, cut the bolts right here and see if we can just move the straps and drop that tank. was the first one. Now we got this one right here. All right. You got that, didn't you? <laughs> All right, we got bees. <laughs> That was a bit on the dramatic side, getting that tank out of there. This is the, the whole length of it. And Charlie, come around here and shoot where you can see the comb on this side, how they have attached the comb to the very top of the tank right here. And this is the newer side of the comb and the older side. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna pick up the tank and it's really not all that heavy. Well, it is. <laughs> and we're gonna bring it over to the sawhorses and roll it over on its Top so that all right, let's just clean that off. And then this way, our comb is going to be on the bottom. So now we're going to go ahead and cut this part of the tank apart and lift it off. Now, what, what we've done is we've moved the tank from basically its original space. And the reason I want to do that, main reason was I want to do that, because any of the field bees that were here, they're gonna go over there. And as you can see, all the bees are returning here. That's the field bees, those that have known that this was their entrance before. So by moving our tank away from there, we've already reduced some of the bees that are going to be there and we can come back and vacuum these bees at a later time but for right now we're going to go ahead remove this top well it's the bottom of the hive so that we can see the See if it'll separate. Go ahead and put your hot tool in it. Sticking to the bottom of this. Let's just lift it up. Alright, let's flip it up again. Well, we got us a lot of honey up in here. So I think what I'm gonna do, we we know. 
this is going to be our brew section right here. Um, and there's a lot of bees still in the base right here. And I'm sure that's where our queen is down here. But she may be on this comb. I was hoping it would all come out on the bottom. But they, because the comb was attached to the sides of the tank right here, we weren't able to do that. So we had to actually split the, the comb from the bottom of the tank or the top of the tank. And uh, you know what? I think let's go ahead and start removing some of this comb out here, Charlie. And, and, uh, and we'll work our ways to the bees. I know our queen isn't going to go anywhere, so she's safe right now. Uh, as few of bees they have on this, I'm, I'm saying she's in there. Come out on this side, then, Charlie. Just wait a second. I saw her. I saw her, bud. Yep. You see her right there? Y'all move out the way so we get the light in there. Yeah, I can't yeah. see. And I just chased her in. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you, Jesus. You got a cage? Here we go. Bam. Woo. There you go. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. As you can tell, all the, the comb is out of the main section of the tank. And all I've got left is, is the brood comb right here. And as you also can tell, there are a ton of robber bees right here. And I guess I should have taken this honey section out of here before. All these bees that are on it, that's all robber bees, just as well as all these. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and remove this part of the comb right now, and as this is the brood, our brood is in this section. Uh, we'll, we'll, this is the part that I'm really interested in, in uh, getting to the ice chest at that point, and I'll knock all these bees off at. All right, we got our queen right here. I'm gonna just put it back in here. Let let the other bees find her. And normally, I would I would want to try to keep all this honey because <laughs> I would want it, but 
there's so many robber bees out here. I'm just going to take this thing and put it in the woods and let the bees have all this stuff, the wild bees around here. Um, it's really, at this point, it's pretty much pointless for me to vacuum anymore due to the amount of robbers. So we're going to grab our queen, put her inside the truck, and we're going to head up to Sarah and Dennis's, and we're going to uh, set these bees up. So I left all the, the, the robbers over there and come out here. These are all our hive bees, so I'm going to try to vacuum up as many of these as I can get and jo let them join back up with our other bees. Hey, Charlie, what? I think I found where the robber bees are coming from. These girls were having a feast. So we're gonna go ahead and feed those bees over there. He, feed these bees right here. Some of those bees, honey. And <laughs> hey, look at this one, folks. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any chance of getting these bees. This beam or whatever it is right here, it's actually grown inside of the tree. It's been leaning here so long. There's no way we're gonna find those bees. Those bees are just dug in and they're staying right there. They have a happy home. I've got it rolling. Okay. Yes, it's recording. Okay. All right. What time is it? Oh, I don't have my. Uh, I don't have my phone. Yeah, I don't have my phone. Either. I know we don't have a phone. How long? So. How long do you think we've been here? Uh, about three hours. Three hours. But that was like uh, <laughs> set up, enjoying ourselves, taking taking all the hive out. Yeah. Hey, one, one too bad. You can't complain about this one, huh? That of course you can complain. You no, always complain. No, 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 no. I'm just a cautious individual, you know. It's in my nature. Yeah, Charlie, last night we said, Charlie, they're in a gas tank. Charlie said, oh, no, not in a gas tank. I don't do what, gas tanks. What, what happens if it blows up? Charlie, I said, the bees are in it. How's it going to blow up? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. You're right. But, uh, no, it was, uh, it was uh, fairly easy with heavy equipment. Uh, they came over and then moved the old junk truck out the way and, Jeff was able to get up underneath there, cut the straps, tank fell down, and then after that, just cut the top off. Well, you saw it in the video. <laughs> I mean, that's all the proof you need right it, there. It, it went really smooth. And I it mean, did. For, and for Ralph not being with us, it went very smooth. Yeah, I miss Ralph, but still in all, he did a pretty good job, man. He handled that grinder. He was on it. <laughs> he was on it. You got any more? No. Oh, I do. I, that, I, yeah. So, the, what, I was, what I was thinking about this whole whole thing when even just the idea of us coming up here and doing this I, I was really apprehensive about it because all I was told was the bees are in a gas tank and <laughs> in a truck and I said oh man yeah. and, and and as it turned out we were able that, that 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 wasn't an issue in fact nothing was an issue getting to the bees and removing the bees the the thing that I found very interesting about this hive is that here we are beginning of December and and generally our, our queens are in the decline as far as laying goes. Um, and this queen proved it perfectly for us. There was zero brood in there. We know we, the queen was in there, we got her. Um, so there was zero brood, lots of stores, and, and I've got no concern about these bees being able to make it through the rest of the winter. We're gonna give them all of the uh, honey back to them. So we'll fill up that 10 frames with, with nice good um, comb with honey in it. And there's not going to be an issue with these girls making it the rest of the year. So God definitely graced us with that. So Oh, absolutely. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for that. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed and, and Good Time Charlie. We're out of here until the next video. And maybe it might not be a gas tank. <laughs>